Among the forests and farmland of Cambodia, you will find what some people call the eighth wonder of the world, namely Angkor Wat, said to be the largest religious monument ever built. A religious temple so famous and so sacred that it takes pride of place on the Cambodian national flag, as well as their money. The word Angkor means kingdom, and it used to be the capital of the Khmer Empire, sometimes called the Angkorian Empire, which thrived from the 9th to the 15th century. But Angkor Wat is only one of thousands of temples that lie in the Angkor Archaeological Park. The park covers an area of 400 square kilometers, and it would fit snugly on the island of Barbados. The size of the temples and area they cover can't be overstated. Visiting all the temples in the park could take you years. Angkor Wat itself could fit three Vatican cities inside it. Therefore, the majority of people just visit a handful of the most famous ones, such as Angkor Wat, Angkor Tom, Bayon, and Taprom, not to mention several others of equal importance and beauty. Angkor Wat was built for the Khmer Empire in the early 1100s, making it almost 900 years old. It was built at the orders of King Suryavarman II. It was to be the state capital and temple, and after his death, his mausoleum. Historians say it's also aligned with the sun and moon and could have operated as an astronomical observatory. Built as a Hindu temple to honor the Vishnu god, Angkor Wat was later turned into a Buddhist temple when a later king Jayavarman VII converted to Buddhism because he felt the Hindu gods had failed him. He built another state capital and temple called Angkor Tom and Bayon next to Angkor Wat. The most striking feature you will notice as you approach Angkor Wat is the five main towers. The towers are positioned in a quincunx pattern, a tower at each of the four corners with the tallest one at the center. They are said to represent Mount Meru, a mountain in Hindu and Buddhist cosmology that has five peaks and is the center of the universe. Around Angkor Wat and several other nearby temples, you will find moats. They symbolize the sea and oceans that surround the mountains and they are by no means small. The moat around Angkor Wat is almost 200 meters wide, four meters deep, with a perimeter of five kilometers. As you stroll through the temple cities of Angkor, you will be mesmerized at every turn by the countless intricate reliefs carved into the sandstones and statues, some of them small, others huge, depicting various Hindu and Buddhist gods, as well as scenes from the Hindu epics, the Mahabharata and the Ramayana. Millions of tons of sandstone were used to build Angkor Wat. Some say the stones were brought from the holy mountain Phnom Kulen, 50 kilometers away, and others say the stones were transported by river from quarries around 35 kilometers away. Inscriptions say thousands of elephants and hundreds of thousands of laborers worked for over 30 years to build it. The temple cities of Angkor Wat are so vast and complex that I've only barely scratched the surface in this video. Historians and archaeologists are still debating their origins and history, so I invite you to continue exploring and studying the fascinating ruins of Angkor Wat. Thanks for watching. Like and subscribe for more.